Balik mga kapuso sa GMA Regional TV Live karong weekend atong sa ulugon ultiman an kining tinuig na nga kalihukan sa Earth Hour pamaagi nato sa pagtabang sa atong kalikupan karong buntaga mga kapuso kini atong hisgutan nining adbukasiya sa usa ka tinunan pagama og mga solar lamps o pagtabang sa mga komunidad mga panimay nga nagkinahanglan gyud niini makauban nato karong buntaga mga kapuso ang estudyante nga si Kayla Lasola good morning Kayla welcome sa GMA Regional TV Live kumusta Hello sir good morning okay ra doing well Kila naman imo edad Kayla asa ka nag-eskwela og unsa naman imong grade karon I'm 17 years old, studying at Alisay City National High School. Wait din ako karon. Mm -hmm. Isip usa ka Lady Scout, kailangan nung nga importante man, kining mga solar lamps. Kining solar lamps, di lang kani, importante para na mong mga scouts, kundi sa tanan. Kay ang energy nga gigamit ani, gikan man sa sun which is clean and renewable how does this thing work kaila pwede ba ni mo ming sultian natay itawag nga solar lamp nga naka nagkuha na siya dere nagka connect na tanan so nasa tay cable wire nga maoy mo connect sa ato ang solar panel nya mo ni siya ang mukuha og energy from the sun para mo siga ang atong solar lamp So, i-connect na ako, sir. So, money siya para magana ang atong solar lamp. Mahimo ba kayo lang ma-share sa abnimo na mo kining imong kabahin sa imong advocacy? Yes, sir. Kami sa Talisay City National High School, Unit 139 Scouts. O sa Tibuok Scouting Movement. Nag-promote sa United Nations Sustainable Development Goals or SDGs, especially on SDG 7, which is affordable and clean energy in combating climate change. Asa naman ng mga lugar kailan na butangan o nakatagan ninyo in inyong mga solar lamps? Ang nakatagan na lang mo o solar lamps dari sa Talisay City, Panganan Island, Lapu-Lapu City, Hilutungan Island, Bantayan Island, o sa mga nabikti nga, nabiktima sa sunog dito sa lag, dari sa lagtang Talisay City, Mandawi City, o Cordova. Karon nga umaabot ng Earth R kaila sa mga yung target nga butangan o katagan ni ini. Karon umaabot ng Earth R March 27, 2021 kauban sa among partner JCI Zubuana and Sedfarcom manghatag kami og manghatag kami og solar lamps sa mga upland farmers sa Sudlundo, Cebu City. As we switch off our lights, this earth hour, we switch on our solar lamp. Energy. Butang kikining pag-conserve og energy kay parte kini sa atong long-term goal nga mahimong sustainable ang paggamit sa atong resources. Sa imong edad, isip usa sa kaestudyante, isip usa sa ka lady scout, Unsa man imong mahatag pag-awag sa atong mga viewers pag conserve og energy. Kining among gibuhat isip good example sa katawhan especially to the youth, our solar lamp is a good way of conserving energy for the for everyone to follow. Sa so, mensahe nimo kayla sa mga nagtan-aw nato karon. Dili ta magusik-usik sama sa pagpalong sa mga appliances kung wala kini gigamit. As much as possible, we turn to renewable sources of energy sama aning gibuhat nato nga solar lamp o pag-recycle sa mga gamit nga angay mapuslan pa. All right, pagkanindot sa advocacy o kao sa bata pagadi doon na joy. Katuyuan mga kapuso. Thank you, sir. Si Kayla Lasola, dahil kaming salamat sa pag-uban ka na mo karong buntaga. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this Eko Tabang Solar Lamp Assembly demonstration in relation to Scout's Go Solar Badge. But before we go right straight to the steps in the assembling, 
Allow me to share to you the purpose of this activity. This aims to promote the United Nations 17 Sustainable Development Goals in combating climate change. This also helps poverty-stricken, last-mile communities and victims of calamities by donating the assembled solar lamps to them. Our scouting unit is moved to reach and transfer our learning to as many people as possible. Thus, we give free training to any groups and organizations that show interest and would contact us. This is, by the way, in partnership with a nonprofit organization, the Sustainable Energy and Enterprise Development for Communities, or Seed for Calm, whose executive director is Mr. Don Diaz. Now, let's go back to the United Nations 17 SDGs. Six of these SDGs are covered by this activity. We have on your screen, you'll see the 17 development goals of the United Nations. Six that uh, were not six that are covered are SDG 7, affordable and clean energy. SDG 11, sustainable cities and communities. SDG 13, climate action. SDG 14, life below earth, below water. SDG 15, life on land, and 17 partnerships for the goals. How and why? <laughs> How number seven, affordable and clean energy. Solar energy is free because it comes from the sun, and the sun rises every day. We might not, it might not, not uh, rise sometimes due to bad weather. However, it's whole year round. As, for as long as we are still here on Earth, we would, we would uh, experience the power of the sun. So it's affordable and it's clean because it does not emit greenhouse gases or carbon. So it helps, it helps combat climate change. That's 13 climate action, and then, and it also hits the sustainable cities and communities because this clean energy is affordable. Therefore, the community will no longer will save a lot from this. The money or the amount that we keep for electric bills. When we use solar, it's free, and um, although we have to, like, uh, what do we call this? We have to, like, invest in something that is sustainable, which is the use of solar panels, inverters, and whatnot. So um, we are saving a lot from this. So we will be able to use that part of our budget for something else, maybe food. And then, why life below water, life on land? There are materials that we use that are recyclables. So this um, recyclable waste that we often just throw and end up in landfills, we will be able to uh, lessen the waste and these waste usually end up in um, oceans, seas, rivers, creeks, streams. So we are saving marine um, life because we prevented this garbage or waste from reaching those for water forms. So there you go. And partnerships for the goals because we have to link to some... Um, maybe organizations, NGOs, government, LGUs, for this um, aim to be, um, so we could, um, what do we call this? We would reach or this aim or we would achieve this purpose. So we have to link to different um, organizations, LGUs, as I have said. So there you go. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Now, you're the most awaited part, the assembling or the steps in assembling the solar lamps. Here we go.
Okay, let's move on to the components needed. We have on the screen, the first one on top left most part, we have the resistor. Next, second, we have the diode. Next, the transistor. The LED, the lithium ion battery, the USB cable wire or the cable, and solar panel or the solar panel. We also need bottles, any hard plastic bottles that you may find around as long as the battery fits its mouth. Now, some words of caution, everyone. Do not short circuit the battery. Do not connect the LED directly to the battery and be careful when using the soldering iron and glue gun. Why? It's, why not short circuit it? Because it will damage the whole thing. It won't, it won't light up. And also do not connect the LED directly to the battery because it will also damage it. And when using the soldering iron, you have to make sure that only the soldering lead will be melted, not the part that you need to connect, that you will be uh, putting the uh, end of your, loop, if your soldering iron. Let's have an assembly now. The first one, solder the diode and the transistor. Cathode of diode for the positive of diode, the one with a gray mark that, uh, uh, that goes around the diode. And then you have to connect it to the base of the transistor. Anode of diode, the negative of diode, to the emitter of transistor. Look at the illustration shown. It should look like this. Scout Olimjan Parva is showing every step to you. Next, we have solder the collector of the transistor to the anode of the LED. In this position, your transistor, the flat side facing the ground or the flat surface, the collector of it is on the left side. There are three terminals. The middle one is the base, the one on the left is your collector, and the one on the right is your emitter. So you have to remember those three terminals. Again, middle, middle, base, left, collector, and right, emitter. Cut approximately 4 to 5 inches of the USB cable or at least 2 inches longer than the lithium ion battery. Yeah. Cut open the cable wire and remove two strands of tiny wire, black and red. Again, cut, cut the wire open and remove the tiny wire, black and red. Next, put two solder on the positive side of the lithium ion battery. You will know the positive terminal because it has um, holes. Put solder on the negative side of the lithium ion battery. Solder one end of the positive wire to the cathode of the LED. <coughs> Next, solder one end of the negative wire to the emitter of the transistor. Solder the other end of the red wire to one solder on the positive terminal of the lithium-ion battery.
Solder the other end of the negative wire to the negative terminal of the lithium ion battery. Place the hole on the cap of the recyclable hard plastic bottle and insert the USB cable wire in it. Solder one end of the positive wire from the USB cable wire wire to the remaining solder on the positive terminal of the lithium ion battery. Solder also one end of the negative wire from the USB cable to the base of the transistor. Now connect the USB cable to the solar panel. It should light up or else there is something wrong with the connection. For the finishing touches, tape the wires around the lithium ion battery to secure them. Gently position the whole assembled part inside any recyclable hard plastic bottle. Then put glue stick in the space around the lithium ion battery to anchor it in the bottle. Put the cover on and it's done. That's it everyone. Thank you and let us stay safe.